Hello and welcome to Durant Farms. Today we're going to tell you all about why we started an alpaca farm and what you can do with alpacas. One of the most consistent questions we get asked about being alpaca farmers is what do you do with them? We totally get it. People are curious why we chose alpacas versus any other livestock. The answer is more layered and nuanced than you may think. Even though neither of us had ever owned livestock previously, we knew we wanted animals to be part of the picture here at Durant Farms. Once we decided that we definitely wanted animals, we needed to think through which kind of animals would be the most beneficial to our farm. Alpacas stood out to us for a number of reasons, which we're about to get into right now. All right, let's get into it. Reason number one, animal welfare. First and foremost, animal welfare is one of the main tenets of our lives, business, and on our farm. We were both vegetarians for many years and have thought a lot about the benefits and responsibilities of having animal products in our food and our textiles. We maintain that all animals deserve a healthy and joyful life. We were committed to finding a type of livestock that we wouldn't have to slaughter in order to profit from. Alpacas stand out in this respect because harvesting alpaca fiber is a minimally invasive process. We only share once a year and no animals are harmed in the process. We truly love our animals and would never want for them to be uncomfortable in any way. At the same time, as a farm and a business, we needed to find a way for them to provide for our farm. We're hoping that if we do everything right, they will end up paying for themselves over time. Another one of the main tenets of our business ethos is sustainability. We're an eco-friendly farm and we promote sustainability in all the things that we do. Alpaca fiber is a sustainable product because it grows back every year. Alpacas live for 20 to 25 years, so if we take good care of them, we can get decades of income off of their fiber alone. We're still in our first year of alpaca stewardship, but based on our personal research and our hands-on experience thus far, we can cover most of the costs of keeping the animals by selling their raw fiber and the fine fiber finished goods that are created from it. Reason number three, fine fibers. Speaking of fine fibers, there's a lot you can do with fine, sustainable fibers. Some alpaca owners harvest the fiber, clean it, cart it, and then use it to spin their own yarn, and some even continue to make finished products from the yarn. This is quite a process. Think of the hours of labor and craft that would potentially go into one scarf or one hat. It's a lot of work, and we ultimately decided not to go that route. At our farm, we sell the raw alpaca fiber directly to a climate beneficial fiber pool located in Oregon in the US. This company, Imperial Yarn, purchases high quality animal fiber from a variety of small fiber farms across the US, which helps many small scale farmers like us to earn income without having to go through the whole production process. By selling into the fiber pool, we can earn income from the raw fiber, as well as the finished goods that are produced with it. Essentially, we use the money that we get from selling the raw fiber to purchase finished goods at wholesale, and then stock our farm store with the finished goods. Since we're getting products from the same company that owns our fiber pool, there's a good chance that our blankets, socks, and yarn would include fiber from our boys themselves. Be sure to check out our products in our farm store, linked in the description. While their fiber might be the most profitable reason to get alpacas, there are still many other uses and reasons for alpacas. Reason number four, high quality fertilizer. For us, as a farm practicing permaculture principles, any animals that we bring on the farm need to serve multiple purposes. For our particular situation, they help out quite a bit just by pooping. Yes, it's true. pack poo is a very high quality fertilizer that is great for our gardens and orchards. With a combination of their diet and their digestion process, the alpaca manure creates a fully organic and well-balanced fertilizer. By collecting their waste and mixing it into our compost, we save thousands of dollars a year in fertilizer costs. Reason number five, light on the land. Compared to cattle, llamas and alpacas are very light on the land. A lot of folks in our area keep beef cattle and have known that to be a generally profitable venture. However, cows are also known to challenge fencing, wander off, and tear up the ground wherever they go. Between that and the animal welfare piece, cattle were not going to be the right option for our farm. Alpacas and llamas have soft pads, similar to a dog's paw, instead of hooves. This allows them to tread lightly on the land and not cause unnecessary erosion. 
Reason number six, easy to keep. In addition to being light on the land, alpacas and llamas are relatively easy to keep compared to other livestock animals. For example, Angora goats are also known for producing fine fibers, but goats are also notorious for being a little ornery. They're also known for challenging fencing and escaping from their pasture. Alpacas, on the other hand, are really good about respecting the boundaries of their pasture. They really feel safer that way. Another fine fiber animal is the sheep. Sheep may be slightly easier to keep than goats, but not as easy as alpacas. Sheep are known to escape frequently from fencing, and they are also more susceptible to common worms and other diseases. Once we realized the alpacas tend to have stronger constitutions than sheep, we knew they were going to be a good option for us. Reason number seven, clean animals. Did you know that alpacas and llamas all go to the bathroom in the same place? This makes cleaning up after them a much easier task, and we don't have to worry about sweeping out their structure every single day because their shared latrines are located elsewhere in their pasture. Additionally, alpacas and llamas do not require much grooming other than their annual shearing. During their shearing day, they'll also have their teeth filed and their toenails clipped. Reason number eight, cute and fluffy. No one can deny how cute they are. With the accommodation side of the farm stay, the adorable alpacas offer a unique attraction for guests. People who love animals and who love to stay at unique places will be in heaven staying at our alpaca farm. The alpacas are one of the biggest things that set us apart from other eco farms and farm stays. We love how fluffy and cute they are and how peaceful they look grazing on the hillside. They are approachable and curious without being too overbearing or dangerous. They're great with kids, they will take treats from your hand, and some will allow you to pet and cuddle with them too. Ralph and Scully are our biggest cuddlers. They'll be the first ones to come up to you in the pasture looking for a snack or maybe a little kiss. You want a kiss? Oh, good boy. Those are the reasons we decided to start an alpaca farm, including both logistical benefits as well as profit earning ideas. Before we go, here's a summary of our ideas and a few bonus ideas for even more things you could potentially do with alpacas. Here's the summary. First, selling raw alpaca fiber. Alpacas need to be sheared once a year no matter what. If you have the product, you might as well sell it to cover the cost of their care. If you sell into a fiber pool like we do, you can also become a wholesaler for alpaca fiber goods. However, just like any other business, once you have the products, you will need to find customers to sell them to. Farm tourism is another good option. Alpacas make great animals for agritourism because of their cuteness factor, as well as their docile and gentle natures. Fertilizer. You could keep alpacas just to produce organic fertilizer at your farm. You can also collect the pacapoo, package it, and sell it to consumers. Pets. If you aren't interested in the tourism aspect of things, alpacas also make fantastic pets since they're cute, friendly, and relatively easy to care for. Okay, so another option is shows. Another level up from pet ownership would be to enter alpaca shows. There are a variety of shows and conferences in which you can show your livestock and earn prizes for having high quality animals and, in our instance, high quality fiber. A lot of breeders will do this to prove the quality of their animals. And one last option that's worth mentioning is breeding and selling alpacas. While we wouldn't recommend this route for beginner alpaca owners, we couldn't make a list of things what to do with alpacas without mentioning this option. If you have experience and understanding of the relatively complicated breeding and birthing care of alpacas, then you could start a farm and sell the creas to other alpaca farms. Usually alpaca farmers will capitalize on at least one or two purposes that complement one another and serve the greater purpose of their farms and their passions. Some alpaca farmers prioritize the quality of the fiber and then will breed specific animals to produce the highest quality fiber possible. On the other hand, others may choose to keep them as pets and just sell their fiber on a yearly basis to help maintain their care costs. It all depends on the scale you're wanting to take it. If you're thinking about getting alpacas, Figuring out what you want to get from them will help you in deciding if alpacas are the right animals for you. This will also guide you in choosing which alpacas to create your ideal herd. Please feel free to ask any questions by leaving a comment below. Be sure to check out our farm store and shop all the fine fiber goods we have in stock right now. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more alpaca farm stay content. See you next time.